In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about resampling images. That's the number of pixels contained within the image. A lot of people make the mistake that you need a lot of pixels to end up with a good result, and that's not necessarily the case. They can take up far too much room on your drive and make documents far too large. Here you can see the pixels are 4000 by around 3000, and it's taking up 34 meg on the hard drive. Now, if I've got scores and scores of these things to print out in a particular project, uh, and they're not that large, physically speaking, it is pointless having that many pixels. It just takes up far too much room on your drive and on your document. Um, so you need to resample or reduce the number of pixels in this particular image here. To do that, you come up to the Images menu and click on the Resample button here. And this module pops up. And it tells us what the size of this image is in the Size Tools here, what resolution it's set to, and its rendered size, physically speaking. Uh, and at this point in time, it's uh, 44 inches. Um, so what we can do is click on this Rescale to, which will basically just rescale it down to a standard size, which you'll see change in these settings here. So now it's 50% uh, of its size, so it's only 2,000 by 1,500 pixels. And as you can see, it takes up a lot less room. It's only about 3 meg on the disk. When I'm ready, I click Accept. And as you can see, when it comes in, it looks almost identical. I'll just undo that to show you to the resampled image. There really is no difference. And this will print, if I'm printing this out at, say, you know, six or seven inches wide, you know, you're never going to notice the difference. Okay, so you need to re realize that you can reduce this even further, even 50% again. Um, and you can see it's a thousand pixels by 700 now. You can also adjust the pixels proportionally. That's more of an advanced technique where you adjust the width and the height differently. In this particular example, you wouldn't do that. Um, and as you can see here, the size on disk is 0.71 of a meg. Now these filters, I'll talk about those in a moment. So you click Accept, and I've made this 25% of its original size. It is absolutely taking up far less room on the drive now and in the document, and is quite usable as it is uh, if you're just printing it out at, say, anything up to about a foot or 300 mil wide. And you can adjust your images depending on what the application is. Now I'll quickly show you what those filters were all about. So we select an image like this one here and click Resample. Now you can see this filter section here. This adjusts how the image is actually rendered on screen. And at the moment, actually I'll just I'll actually rescale this down to say 25% uh, so I can make it more clear what I'm talking about. Now you can see here using Nearest Neighbor how we've got this sort of staircase or jagged effect. If I change this to Mitchell Filter you can see how much smoother that looks now. Now these filters will uh, have varying effects. There's the nearest neighbour again, just to make it clear what I'm talking about there. You can see that that's quite jagged. I'll change it back down to, say, the Lancos filter there, and you can see how smooth it looks now. These filters will change uh, different images in different ways. So what you need to do is just try different filters, depending on the image you've got, and see what the results will, uh, look like on screen, like so. Um, and you can adjust these to get the sorts of results you need. And when you're done, when you're happy with it, you simply click the Accept button. That loads it back into the program, like so. And you can see there that that's actually now quite um, quite smooth. So that's how the filters work. So that's how the resampling tool works. Just be careful not to make your images too large for your different uh, artwork. And use the resample tool for reducing image size, for emailing as well, as well as printing out artwork. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you.